Hey everyone, I'm here in Yilan, Taiwan. I'm going to try Yishun Shren Bakery. They're really known for their green onion buns. But they have plenty of other buns as you're going to see. place is really amazing. I wish I could read a lot of these items I think this is what they're known for what is that an Oreo in the bun it's interesting Suffice to say, I don't really know what I should get here. There's so much. There's no seating area here. I got these four buns for 144 NT or about $4.60. Let's see how they are. Unfortunately, that bakery didn't have anywhere to sit, so I had to walk over to the Yilan Story Museum where there's a bench. I did take a Google Translate of all the items I got. This one is their most famous. It is the salted green onions bun. This place has been around since 1975. Oh yeah, look at that. Salted green onion. Mmm. Wow. This is pretty unique. Um I can't say that I've had a bun like this before. Um, I've had like scallion on a bun, but not like this. This one, they actually like grill the um, scallion and season it, so it's very different. It's like a little bit crunchy, and um, I do feel like they add a little bit of butter in here and to make it a lot more um, filling. This is really, really good and interesting. I think the price of this was 28 NT, so just under a dollar US. Yeah. I can tell why they're well known for this. This is, um, this is something else, really. The uh, cooked 
green onion gives it a very unique flavor. It's a tad bit salty. I can see why people rave about this bun, the salted green onion. Mmm. This one is outstanding, really. It's two thumbs up for this one. This next one is called Big Pineapple. I can kind of see why they call this big pineapple because it's actually a pretty big pastry. This could be a meal in and, in and of itself. Mmm. Wow. So, interesting uh, texture here. The top is a little bit crusty and that's filled with the pineapple flavor. Um, the bottom um, three quarters of it is mostly flour and breading and that's what makes it really filling. I think if you were to eat the whole thing, you wouldn't have room for like lunch or anything. But yeah, this is pretty good. And it has that Taiwan pineapple flavor, which is hard to reproduce. Mm. It has a custard filling too. Wow. Yeah, that custard is good too. This is amazing. Whoa. This one's two thumbs up. So far so good with this bakery, Yi Shun Shren. We got the chocolate one with the Oreo. This one I can tell is sugary and might get kind of messy. They don't play around with this one. Um, it's filled with chocolate. Mmm. And they put the powdered sugar on it. Chocolate lover's dream here. And even the crust on the breading is all chocolate. Oh man. Mmm. It's amazing. Man. Like the ultimate dessert bun, <laughs> really. Um, if you really want to, you could put like ice cream or whipped cream on it too. But this alone is enough, really. Two thumbs up for me, for sure. Last we got, as Google translate translates it as, the Great Dane hot dog. We've got the uh, salted green onion topping. And then they put the hot dog in it, inside a croissant. This looks like a masterpiece, folks. Let's try it. You know what? It's not the salted um, green onion topping. It's something else. Oh. Tastes more like pesto sauce. Well, it works well, man. Hot dog is good. Croissant's amazing, and I love that um, pesto sauce um, topping they put on. Really good, man. And um, this is a meal. It has big hot dog in it. Mmm. What can I say? Yi Shun Shren Bakery is the reason why they've been here since 1975. 
Gotta check it out when you're in Yilan. Two thumbs up for me.